Hello, I'm Lee Lowe. Joining me now is Eric Yao, Head of Investor Relations and Corporate Finance at Link REIT. Eric, welcome to Bloomberg. Tell us a little bit about your ESG program at Link REIT. Sure. Um, we started reporting on sustainability to, since 2011. Uh, we're actually one of the first companies in Hong Kong, uh, especially real estate companies in Hong Kong, um, to report a, sus a separate sustainability report. And we started that journey in 2011. And gradually, we've evolved from a sustainability report to an actual integrated report. And this year would be our uh, third year reporting with an integrated report. So um, the board uh, takes it very seriously to make sure that we are committed to corporate governance, transparency, sustainability, and, um, and also stakeholder engagement. So investor relations uh, and sustainability, uh, it goes hand in hand from, from what you're telling me. Tell me about how much is driven by the markets and driven by investor demand uh, for openness and transparency in ESG, and how much is driven by uh, Link Reed's own business strategy? Um, a lot of people you know, use the term ESG, environment, social governance. Um, I must say, this day in this market, all investors are very G-focused, very governance-focused. Everyone cares about any conflict of interest. Everyone cares a lot about you know, disclosure, transparency. But in terms of E, environment, and S, social, um, the level of concern from the investor base varies. Um, for instance, you know, we have um, a 2030 target, for instance. Uh, we aim to cut our energy use by 30% by the year 2020. So um, that sounds a lot, and, and it is indeed a lot. And it, you know, not only is, does it do good to the environment, it also helps with the bottom line. Tell me about investor targeting. Uh, I fully understand that you don't discriminate in terms of investors, but are there uh, criteria or investors that you look for as you think about your roadshows, uh, mm. not just within the region, but globally as well? Uh, we have on our, meeting, on our meeting schedule, not just the ones who are on our unit holder list, but also the ones who are not. Because it's important to, to you know, tell the market, not just the ones who are already invested in you, of our updates, of our financials, of our, of our operations and business and outlook, but also the ones who don't own you. If I'm a, a small cap or a medium cap company, and I'm thinking about developing my uh, own investor relations platform uh, and really take it on as a core discipline, what are some of the, the key best practices and the key activities uh, you would recommend for that company to really seriously think about in order to be as successful as, as Link Read? Um, if it's a CFO, CEO, it's usually easier because um, they are very much in the core of the company's business and strategy. If it's an, a separate IRO, um, you have to make sure the, the IRO is in the know because um, a lot of investors these days are not just looking at historically how you did in the last quarter, how you did in your last financial year, but looking forward into how you'd be doing, what's your outlook, what's your business strategy going forward, what's your expansion plan. And without that inside knowledge, um, it's not a matter of numbers, but, but having a sense and a feel of how the company's gonna grow, how the business is gonna be, be at, and, and the pipeline, for instance. Um, it's very difficult to answer with confidence investors um, probing you about these future or more, more, more guidance questions. Eric Yao, thank you very much for being here at Bloomberg today. Congratulations again on your HK IRA Award 2016. Thank you for the opportunity. Glad to be here. <laughs>